What's up everyone, Super Auto Gaming here, and today we're going to give you a little bit of a custom pack Lioness gameplay. So, I've messed around with the custom packs a little bit, but right now it's kind of a shit show with all the 50-50 lollipop crabs and the uh, tapir butterfly bullshit. So, custom packs are kind of hard to play if you want to do a cool little build like, say, I don't know, a 50-50 shop with Lioness. That's pretty cool. So that's what we're going to try to do today. I love Lioness. Lioness new mommy confirmed. So what Lioness does at the end of the turn, it gives all current and future shop pets plus two, plus two. And it's plus four, plus four, and plus six, plus six, respectively, for each level. And uh, it's just so cool. It's so good. It feels amazing. And honestly, it might be too good. Because you just get the free, you get it, you get the scaling for free. You don't have to pay like with chicken or anything. You, you don't have to buy a tier one pet. You just always get plus two, plus two every turn. Um, and with chicken, the only way to do that is if you had a level one, you'd have to find two tier one units, buy them both. Uh, and that's the only way you could have gotten it before. So already off the bat, Lioness seems way, way better. And... Um, also, I have Fox and Cat in this pack, so this is my own little custom pack that I, I put together. It was mostly units that would help me find Lioness, as well as Can, uh, Cat, and Fox. So if I can get a Fox early enough, I'd get it and um, use it on a Can. So like I'd freeze Can, and that'd be the only thing in the shop. So when um, Fox's ability triggers, which it will steal a food from the shop, and multiply it by two. So it's basically a cat, but uh, one tier earlier. But I don't end up finding any early foxes, so it doesn't really come into play. And also what I would do is if I found a cat, then I, of course I would, I would play the cat, have it on board. And if I found any cans, I would also do that. But most of my scaling really comes from Lioness. Just having it on board every turn really, really adds up, especially with the games going a whole heck of a lot longer um, with the new packs and especially custom packs, you get a lot more people tying, um, you lose a lot more, and it really, really, sorry, I heard a noise in my house, I had to look over, I, I got scared, um, and the games just go crazy, like, especially with the custom packs. Uh, thankfully, getting a 50-50 shop kind of destroys Tapir Butterfly, uh, believe it or not. Also, having Parrot on my team is beautiful. So Parrot Orca is so strong. Um, so basically, I already have a level 2 Orca. I have a level 1 and a level 2. So even after they nerfed Orca, um, I think it's still good enough to play. It's easily good enough. You put a mushroom on it, you slap a mushroom on that bad boy, and you, uh, you send him in. We also froze our first Lioness there. It's a bit late. I would have much preferred it on round 7 to 9, you know, through like a, a level up or something. But you can't always get what you want. Um, also, we sped through the first uh, couple minutes there because these games go so long. And I think the culprit is Hamster. So not only do I get a shit ton extra rolls from Hamster, but I also have to read just about every unit that I potentially want. So that makes it a, a little bit harder to, to get through. But already our team is looking amazing. And Hamster, oh my god, dude. I don't know that I think hamster might get nerfed because it is just so much free gold. It is insane how much free gold it is. And it works the same way that um, other units with triggers work. So you can roll a few times and if you level it up, it will refresh all of the um, all of the triggers so you can roll four more times. Wow. That's really good. <laughs> Uh, if you compare Hamster to Hammer Shark, your Hamster will get you an infinite amount more gold than Hammer Shark ever will. Ever. Um, also, Hamster works really well in the mid game with Okapai. That's what I had there for a bit. You get uh, plus one, plus one for each roll. I would have loved to pick up those foxes, but it's a bit too late. I'd rather have a cat here because cat is uh, guaranteed. You're guaranteed for the um, to get what you want, so... Fox was only in there for, for the early game. And uh, it's looking a bit rough here. Like, it's turn 11. Our stats are really weak. The only thing really keeping us in is the Orca-Parrot combo. 
Also, um, I guess maybe for the custom packs, I should like show up what the list is. There's actually a button that you can click in the top right hand corner when you're in the shop phase. You'll see it uh, right now. So it's right there next to the replay. It's the little paw. You can click on that and it will actually show you um, what the custom pack that you're running is. It'll have all the pets and all the foods that you have in there, which is really, really cool. Um, so maybe for future custom pack stuff, that's exactly what I'll do. And here I get to do the hamster thing. So now I get four more free rolls, which is incredible. Also, we pick up uh, this white tiger. There's just so many combos that you can do in this game and not enough space. I feel like with custom packs, I need an extra like two or three slots to really get um, the combos I want going. But I'm a, I'm a Battlegrounds player myself, so I'm, I'm used to seven slots. And um, so hopefully we don't run into too many lolly, lolly crab. Is that, that's what it's going to be called now, lolly crab teams or um, tapir butterfly because it's just really annoying to run into those. So I haven't done too many custom pack gameplay until they do something about um, tapir. Tapir's been... <laughs> there's so many things wrong with tapir. Every week someone finds something new that's busted with it. Uh, but our board is looking hefty. I'm talking hefty. And now we can just buy units to essentially make the units that we already have much bigger. And we're going to do a little bit of tiger parrot gameplay. This is really cool. So if you have a tiger that has higher attack than a parrot, then you can chain them. That's This also works with a um, with another tiger. White tiger, that is. So if you, you have the first tiger with higher attack, and then the second tiger with lower attack, and they will chain, cause the first tiger... Um, or sorry, cause the second tiger to become level 3, which will cause the last three units to all become level 3. So you're about to see it here. And it's a really, really cool combo. However, it does not save us from the lolly crab build. So, what can you do? We just need uh, bigger units. That's all we need. And that's really rough because having last life with uh, only 6 wins on turn 14 is really, really bad. Because you don't even know how many tapir butterfly players there are and that's basically a guaranteed lose so what we're looking for now is a last lioness and what i really really want is probably some melons and leopard leopard is a run saver with um 50 50 shops because you know a 50 50 leopard you are doing massive damage at the start um especially paired with a parrot funnily enough I have a parrot already, and it's level 2. So if I can find a big leopard here, that would be amazing. Thankfully, this guy's running a normal build. So we can actually uh, do a little something against them. And we tie, but that's okay. That's okay. We're going we're gonna to replace Hamster pretty soon. Um, and you really got to make sure you get all the value out of Hamster. Sometimes I forget. Sometimes I don't roll enough, and I spend all my gold, and then I'm like, oh, shit. I uh, just wasted like three gold or three rolls essentially. So what you do is when you have all of these free rolls, you, you just freeze everything that you want, roll a bunch, and then, and then you can decide what to do. We're definitely going to get this leopard in here. It's already huge, a 4431. Um, that'll do massive damage. And uh, yeah, get hamster out of here, get the leopard in. And at this point, uh, white tiger behind whale and a uh, parrot behind leopard. This is a very, very strong build. So we are guaranteed the level three orca with mushroom on it and um, three shots with leopard, which which will all be very big. Uh, basically 20, 20 hits or uh, 20. Oh my God. A hit for 20 three times. Okay, there we go. And look at this. Didn't even make it to the orca. Oh, but Lioness is new mommy confirmed. Like, look at this mommy go. She's got her little cub in the mouth too. Picking up a level 3 parrot is amazing here. So now, like, we could we could switch off to basically anything that a parrot works with. But this is huge. We get four, four leopard hits. And that will easily wipe a tapir butterfly team. And here we go. Here's the first one we go against. 
And we, I think we actually go against this guy a couple of times and he can never beat us. Like, doesn't even make it to the Orca. So, sucks to be you, bitch. Eat, eat my shorts. <laughs> we'll keep it friendly. So I could have picked up that White Tiger for um, way more stats. But at this point, um, I just wanted another Melon. Melon or Pepper, but I think with our units being this big, uh, Melon is probably better. And there he is again. There he is again. Look, what are you going to do, man? What are you going to fucking do? That's right. Get off. Stop doing this stupid, um, broken thing. And here we go. We will finally be able to get our 50-50 shop. We aren't going to get uh, a whole lot of value out of it. It'd mainly be for next turn. Chicken works that turn, but Lioness works the next turn. But we already have some 50-50s in here. However, um... At the end of this turn, everything will be 50-50. We get plus 6, plus 6, and you see that pig is at 44. Plus 6 would be 50, and here we go. Next turn would be beautiful, though. Um, but this was so awesome. Custom builds are amazing. I love I love it so much. Just please fix tape here. Oh, my God. But anyways, thank you so much for watching. You gotta love the dream, man. And like and subscribe if you want to see more. And you know what? Have a wonderful day.